Hello friends, this is Durga again from ITVersity. So as part of this video, we will see a brief introduction about Scala. Uh, we will see the history and also a few details. Uh, Scala is JVM based programming language. JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine and is abstraction layer between programming languages, language and underlying operating system. Let me show you a presentation here. Okay, once we we have a server, uh, first thing we'll uh, do is we'll set up operating systems such as Windows, Linux, whatever you want to use for your applications to run. On top of it, we have uh, uh, we need to have JVM, and uh, typically it will be different for each OS. Windows has its own uh, JVM, Linux has its own JVM. JVM is the abstraction layer between the programming language and um, uh, and the underlying operating system. So JVM takes bytecode, uh, which is common to all JVMs. It takes bytecode and it can interpret that bytecode, and then it uh, it can uh, translate those uh, as underlying operating system instructions to execute our program. And uh, to get that bytecode, well, we need to have the compiler and uh, uh, there will be a compiler for each of the programming language um, and there are many programming languages such as Java, Scala uh, which are considered as JVM based programming languages which means that you type in uh, uh, some human readable format uh, whether it is Java or Scala and then Java compiler or Scala compiler which actually com uh, will actually compile those programs into bytecode and those uh, and that bytecode will be uh, interpreted by the uh, uh, JVM and uh, uh, will be uh, will be uh, converting them into instructions which are uh, which can be understood by the underlying programming language. So these are the programming languages um, which are JVM based: Groovy, Ruby, Jython, Scala, Clojure, Kotlin, on top of Java. Java is the uh, probably first programming language which is uh, uh, which is built on top of JVM, and uh, then uh, uh, because developing in Java is quite cumbersome uh, when when you compare to other programming languages such as this, which are uh, in which some of them are functionally uh, functional programming languages where you can express a lot in very fewer lines of code. So this is another view. So you have two servers here. One is installed uh, with Windows, and the other one have Linux operating system. Uh, so if you want to run any JVM based programming language, you need to set up uh, JVM as part of JRE and also JDK. And then uh, whenever you compile your program uh, uh, programs, irrespective of the programming language you have used. Uh, if they fall under JVM based programming language, the program will be compiled into bytecode, which can be uh, interpreted by JVM and convert those into uh, low level instructions um, with respect to the underlying operating system. So, Java and Scala are the ones which we are talking about, and then there are other uh, JVM based programming languages like Groovy, Kotlin, Clojure and a few more okay so even though scala program compiled into java bytecode syntactically it is very different from java and all the pictures which i have demonstrated you can see those things as part of uh, the same blog for your reference uh, scala syntax follow functional programming paradigm what is that functional programming paradigm and uh, we will see those things as we proceed further. Martin Nordersky is the founder of the language. Uh, the language is founded in year 2001, but it gained momentum with Spark. And today, they also have frameworks such as Play to develop web-based applications as well. It is open source and object-oriented. And these are the uh, this is the architecture of JVM programming languages, and you can see the architecture of any programming language which includes Scala 
as part of this picture. So that being said, we will proceed further and we will start exploring the language, we will understand the syntax, we will see how to develop programs using IDE uh, etc as we proceed further. Bye.